Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. My name is Anuradha Toshniwal and it is my pleasure to bring from my table to yours a very versatile dish called the vegetable korma. A mixed vegetable dish. Did let me show you the ingredients. 2 cups of mixed vegetables. Now you can put anything that you want. Today I have used peas, carrots, potatoes, cauliflower and green beans. But you can also add uh, white uh, pumpkin which is locky into it. You can also add your uh, yellow pumpkin and you can add the choli fali which is the runner beans. It's half a cup of cubed paneer, some oil, salt, tomato ketchup but it seems to give a little better color and a little bit more of a nicer taste to the whole dish. Yogurt, one cup of tomato puree. Now the tomato puree is not liquidized. You you cut up your tomatoes and you put it into boiling water, little water because the tomatoes leave their water. Let it boil thoroughly. Take it out in a sieve and gently mash it with a spoon so that all your good puree comes out of the sieve. For tempering, we have six to seven cashew nuts, one teaspoons of cumin seeds or jeera, one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder. One teaspoon of red chili powder and quarter teaspoon of garam masala. So let's get started. So our pan is on the fire, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil. Let it heat thoroughly. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to the hot oil. We will add our vegetables. Once the vegetables are well mixed. With the oil and salt, we are going to add a little water. I'm going to cover this and let it cook. In the meantime, let's get the sauce together. I have uh, one cup of tomato puree. To this, I'm adding quarter cup of tomato ketchup and two to three tablespoons of yogurt. Now don't add too much of yogurt because it steals the color from the puree. So just a little bit. We don't want it white, the korma. We want it nice and pink. Mix it well so that the yogurt is one with the puree. Also, if you don't want to make the tomato puree at home, you can use the Tetra Pak, the ready-made uh, tomato puree available in the market. But then don't add tomato ketchup. So let's check how our vegetables are doing. Little bit more time, I think another five minutes and it should be done and there's enough water to let it cook well. The water is dry. And our carrot is nice and soft. So now our vegetables are done and you can see how nice and green and alive they are. Now if you don't want to uh, saute the vegetables like this if you are restricted in your oil content, then you can steam them. But I personally don't like the boiled taste that comes with steaming. And now I'm going to take them out in a plate. And our vegetables are ready. And now we are making the gravy. We'll take about half a tablespoon of oil. Let it heat. We'll add our cumin seeds and let them splutter. And then we will add our cashew nuts and let them brown a little. To this I'm adding the coriander powder and red chili powder. Now when you're doing this, please be very quick about it because this tends to burn. And add your puree mixture. The stirring is very important because we have yogurt in this. Otherwise, the yogurt will separate. Now I've kept this tempering very simple so that you can make it very fast and doesn't get very heavy or hot. But if you want to add a whole red chili, you can add that, bay leaf, cloves, uh, cinnamon and make it a little bit more richer. So now our gravy is boiling very nicely and I'm going to add the vegetables to this. Mix it well. Then the paneer goes in. Half a cup of cubed paneer. 
Now we must adjust the salt a little because uh, we just put a teaspoon for the vegetables. Now we add about half a teaspoon more but of course please taste before serving. And finally the garam masala goes. And our vegetable korma is ready. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Rajshree Food. I hope you will continue doing so. Do not forget to subscribe. Hope to hear from you and keep cooking. Bye-bye.